Hi everybody, this is Jamie from Made My Art and Design Experience and today we're going to do a surrealist drawing inspired by artist Renee Magritte. Renee Magritte is an artist that is from Belgium. He lived at the end of the 1800s through the middle of the 1900s and surrealism is an art movement that's focused on creating dreamlike images that make you think. Normally they're a little bit strange because they're drawings of normal everyday objects, but there's typically a kind of strange component of them. The materials that we'll need today are a black marker, a pencil, paper, and colored pencils. The very first thing we're going to do is draw some lines to find the center of our paper. You can either eyeball this or you can take a ruler and you can do it, or I'm going to grab another piece of paper just to help guide me. So I'm pretty good at finding where the center might be. So you're gonna take your pencil, you're going to draw very lightly because this is going to be a line that you're gonna to wanna to erase later. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna find my center the other direction. If you are using another piece of paper, normally I'd give myself a little bit of space on the edge just so I can see the edge of the paper that I'm drawing on. Find that middle point and draw straight across. The next step is to draw the pupil in the middle. What you're going to wanna do is find a circle shaped object in your home. It can be a can with some food in it. It can be, it can be the base of a mug. You don't want it to be too big. You kinda of just want it to be medium size. So I'm gonna use a CD to to give these things some use. So I'm gonna trace the outside of it. And just because I know that I'm going to draw a circle uh, in the middle, I'm going to draw the center. All right, so now that we have the center of her eyeball, we're going to have to draw the rest of the eye around it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, I would say three fingers, make a mark on either side of your circle. These are gonna be the points where we're drawing, if you think of it like a football, the top of the football. So you're gonna draw a diagonal line up to the top, around, and then back down to meet your point. And the same thing on the bottom, if it's easier for you to flip the paper, you're gonna draw up to the top, around, and connect your point. The next thing that we have to do is create the crease of our eyelid. We're going to go two fingers in and make a mark about, I would say half an inch above our line. And you're gonna make this very, very light, this dot right there. And we're going to create the crease of our eyelid. We're gonna do the same thing on the bottom, except we're only going to do one finger width. So, go right there. Right there. And we're going to draw and connect that too. All right. So there we have our eye. The next thing we're going to do is we're gonna make some eyelashes. What I would recommend is starting your eyelashes where the top of your eyelid starts. And you're just going to draw, if you think about maybe three more, eye, three more finger width apart again. 
just like that. If it helps, you can look in the mirror and you can look at your own eyelashes so you can see how far above your eyelid they go, if that helps for reference. And we're gonna go all the way to the end of the right side of our drawing. The next thing we're gonna do now that we have our eye shape is we are going to outline it with a black marker. I have a Sharpie. If you don't have a Sharpie, but you have a black magic marker, that's fine, go for it as well. When you're outlining, if you're not perfect with your pencil lines, that's totally fine. As I said in the beginning, we're going to draw lightly. That way, if we mess up, or if we don't get, get it perfect, we can just erase them. The only thing you're not going to outline are the lines that you made to find the center of the paper. Now, if you did use a CD like me, you're gonna make your pupil a little bit larger. I would maybe double the size of it. And just fill it in. Don't want to forget our eyelashes. And I'm going to go over my lines again, maybe thicken them up a little bit. You don't have to. But when I draw, I like to have nice and thick lines. So now that we've outlined our eye with Sharpie marker, you're gonna take your pencil or you're gonna find an eraser, you're gonna erase all your pencil marks that you already had. The reason that we're doing this now is because once we start filling in with colored pencil, we don't wanna have to go back and erase. Right. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your colored pencils. I've pulled out already the skin tones and the color of the pupil that I wanna use. If you, you can go into your colored pencils or your crayons and you can pull out whatever you want right now or you can wait and think about what you want to do in the center. The center is what we're gonna use for our surrealist inspired portion of the project. So the very first step is going to be to choose the lightest color of your skin tones and you're gonna cover the entire paper outside of the eye portion. After that, we're gonna take a darker color and we're gonna do some shading and I'll show you how to do that in a sec.
the next step is to find a shade of your skin tone that is just a little bit darker of the one that you used for your main background. And we're gonna do a little bit of shading above our eyelid crease, above the top of our eye, and below the bottom of our eye. This is gonna give us a little bit of dimension to the eye, make it look a little bit more 3D. I think I'm gonna take one shade darker than what I just did and I'm gonna add to it as well. Okay, so there's the top of that. I'm not gonna go as far up on the second line as I did to that one. I wanna leave a little bit of this lighter shade in between the eyelid crease and the top of our eye. So I'm just gonna fill in about half of the space and then I'm gonna go in with my darker color and I'm gonna fill in about half of that. All right, so now I'm going to flip the paper over and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm gonna go only about halfway in between the two lines so this is gonna be a pretty thin line. And then I'm just gonna fill in a just a little bit with this darker color. Okay, so. Now we've added a little bit of dimension to our eye. It's time to decide what we want to put into the center. The traditional image, if you Google it online, has the inside of this eye being a sky with clouds. That's what I'm going to draw, but I encourage you to draw something on your own. It can be a vision you have of the future. It can be something that you wish for yourself. It can really be whatever you want, maybe a dream that you've had. So I encourage you to take your pencil. Remember, you're going to draw lightly we're not going to outline this part with Sharpie. We're just going to color it in with colored pencils. So I'm gonna draw out my clouds and color in my sky. And I'll see you guys in a sec. I've colored in the inside of my eyeball. I have a blue sky with clouds. I'm dreaming about the day that I can go outside into the park with all my friends. And the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add with my Sharpie marker, I'm just gonna put some birds in the sky. Cause why not? I'm gonna sign my name right at the bottom because it's always important to sign our artwork. I'm gonna put the year. And we're all done. So these are our Rene Magritte inspired surrealist eye drawings. I would love to see what you guys come up with. Please post pictures in the comments section if you've missed any of our video tutorials over the last two weeks, you can check them out in the video section of our Facebook page, or you can go to madeartstudio.com. We have our YouTube stream channel, so you can see all of our videos. We really hope that we get to see you guys in person soon, and we're so grateful that you're following us and making art with us during this strange, strange time. Everybody have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.